WPMD.org. I have a friend who works at Seacrest, so they'll be like, ah! <laughs> oh, I, I interned. Oh, you do? Well, I did. Oh, you did? Do you know Sadeo? Yeah. Yeah, is he the camera guy? Does he do camera? I don't know. What I know he does some internet. And guess what? We got a little surprise for you guys. Oh we my got God. someone Susan. that you guys probably watch on TV. She graces everyone's television screens from the, you know, on location everywhere for Channel 11. This is Dan Marquez. Marquez, come on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Good Yay, morning. Yay, come on. Yay. We need to have our coffee, I guess. Huh? Um, she works at, over at Fox 11, and she's you're a general assignment. Um, yeah, I'm pretty right? generic, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. Um, well, do you want to start off by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. They sent me out in the field right now for Good Day LA, which most people know the faces of Steve Edwards, Jillian Reynolds, and Dorothy Lucy, that crazy threesome in the morning. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm the one they torture and send out to the field to do all the crazy things. Oh, wow. Yeah. And stories like this. Today you guys have a job fair going on, so yeah. we're promoting it, making sure all the people out there who need jobs can get hooked up with a potential employer. Especially right now when the whole recession thing's going on. And Yes. To come down here. I know. You guys, you guys get your resumes ready if you guys don't have one, because that's important. Yes, for sure. I mean, unemployment's the worst it's ever been in California, so if you are unemployed, if you're looking for a job, a lot of people are with you. I would say right now, I love KISS FM. And I love, what's that, 89.9 KCRW. Oh, they are really smart. So I love KCRW as well. I love Power 106 because I grew up with it. Hello, K-Rock. Yeah. Everybody grew oh, up with yeah. Power. Yeah. K-Rock. Yes, I love KSFM because I know some people who work there and they're fantastic, great people. And hi, Ryan Seacrest, like, he dominates. Hey, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> shout out, shout out. He's the dominator. Um, um, <laughs> did you always think, uh, picture yourself standing in front of the mic recording? You know, or practice because I know a lot of people they go they they like Britney Spears says she used to always dance. Like, yeah, well she like got in yeah she got into showbiz at what eleven like oh I always my whole life <laughs> I planned on getting into showbiz like okay you were how old okay. Yeah, and I was a shy kid for sure like I was shy and I had to overcome that and even when I went to USC. For me, coming from Downey, this small, you know, it's not like yeah. this little, you know, town in the sticks, but compared to USC where people are from all over the country and all of these people who have achieved great things at their high school, it's like you're, you know, in Downey, I was like kind of a big fish in a small pond. You go to USC, everybody's special. So I, I was shy at first, so it took getting used to. So yeah. you can overcome anything to get where you need to. And like you said, you know, if, if you're driven to do something, it's ultimately for yourself. When you were trying to achieve your goal, mm -hmm. did you have to ever make sacrifices? Ugh. Certainly. I didn't want to live away from home, for sure. Like, not for college. USC was 20 minutes away from home. That was fine. But I had to move up to nearly Oregon to be a reporter and move away from everybody I knew. And I never wanted to live far away from home. So that was a sacrifice. I knew eventually I would get back to LA. That was always my goal. And then I went to Bakersfield for two years. And then I went to Atlanta for two years. So I. For about almost five years, I lived on my own and traveled around. So that was hard, but it toughens you up. It's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, doing things that are really uncomfortable, like let's say you want to ask, you know, somebody for a raise or, you know, you're scared to ask your teacher something or let's say, you know, go on a job interview. When you actually go through it after, you feel much more powerful. Hey, we're back. You're listening to Yvonne B on Beast Mix here on WPMD.org. And everybody that's out there walking in Cerritos, going to the job fair. Um, we got Suzanne Marquez in here. Yay! She's from Fox 11. She works out with. Ah, she works out. <laughs> I work out too. Okay. She, <laughs> yeah, she definitely so do I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, she works with with the trio, with the morning trio, Jillian, um, Steve, Steve, and Dorsey. Um, Steve's my hero, by the way. He's, He's a awesome. man. Yeah. He's our king. He's awesome. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Before the break, we're talking about her, her begin, how she came up to be where she's at right now. So I just want to ask you, how long did it take you? Because I know a lot of people get really impatient mm -hmm. and they just say, you know what, it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. There's too many stuff that I have to give up and I just, I can't do it. So 
Well, for me, out, when I started to become a reporter, um, it took a little over four years. Some people can take, you know, six years, ten years, some people never get back to LA. What I did, though, is from the very beginning said, my, what is my goal? I want to get back to Los Angeles and be on the air. And because I knew that was my goal, whenever I went to a new city, I would start making my tape for the next city. So it was always like, okay, what's, what's the first thing I need to do to, you know, take the next step to the, get to the next level? So I always kind of had an idea and like set many goals along the way. So what suggestions would you give out to students here at Syracuse College? Because we do have a, a radio broadcasting and we have a journalism department and we also have a TV, TV um, department. I know a lot of those students are wondering what do I have to do? What do I have to do to to be at somewhere like at Fox 11? The main thing is getting experience because you know there are so many different examples of what to do. Interning for one of the local radio or TV stations, wherever you think you might want to work, even if it's not exactly where you want to work, if it's in that industry, get your foot in the door because that's how you meet people and they work with people like that. Because you always hear networking, but what are you going to do? Just go to a big like stadium and just meet people? That That's great for job interviews, but if you work somewhere, you become kind of a family member. Mm -hmm. But then once you get that internship, you kind of have to, you know, like be aggressive and not just do what people like, oh, I'm going to go get coffee. Like for, you know, for somebody who's into radio, I know the KISS FM people who hire interns say, I don't want you to fetch me a cup of coffee. I want somebody who knows about Twitter and Facebook and about radio and who has some kind of experience like from school so they aren't scared of you almost outshining them like you feel if you feel like you have all these talents if you tell them about it that's even better and you if you are that way where you love to do a ton of things don't be scared to show those off and you know people can always tell you to scale back your energy or your talents but um, you, they can't bring them out of you. So if you're shy or, or scared to say something, they'll never know that you have some great talent you didn't tell them about. Exactly. Yeah. It, so. it kind of goes back to like the, the whole men thing. <laughs> you know how men yeah. don't really know what you're thinking, but we think they do. Yeah. Yeah. You give them a dirty look, like you know what you know what you did. <laughs> Is that what? Do I need to tell you? Oh. It's like yeah, we do need to tell them. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, true. That's something that a lot of girls do. It. Well, this has yeah. been awesome, so, you guys. Yeah. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. It was great to have you in here. And just guys out there, you know, if, I mean, she came. She was from Downey. She's from Downey. Yeah, I'm a Downey yeah. girl. My, I was the first in my family to go to college. I was all went to Rio Hondo in the summers and Long Beach City. Sarita's was full for the classes I did. <laughs> I was down here trying to register, though. I know what that's like. It's crazy. Um, Perfect. <laughs> but that helped me graduate quickly by going, you know, year-round because I could do it. I worked and I did summer school. But, yeah, I mean, everybody has a different road. No, nothing's perfect. Nothing's ever as perfect as it seems, for sure. But, oh, I have a Twitter account if you guys want to follow me. Please give it out there. It's Suze Marquez, S-U-Z. M A R Q U E S, and somebody who I recommend following is Reverend Run. Rev Run Wisdom is like the best if you need daily like encouragement. It's not schmaltzy, which I hate that. It's like do it. You you know, it's kind of like a, a dad kind of Wake encouraging up, you. Yes. Um, three words you want to leave students with. Three um, just words that pop up into your head. Love. Halloween and purple because I'm looking at it on the wall. See, that was really yeah. Deep, guys. That was <laughs> Bravo, really deep. right on, man. You know, I'm going to think about it and then Twitter some incredible words like inspiration, <laughs> integrity, <laughs> focus. Okay, see, you in a moment, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was Thank you guys. Thank you so fun. much. Yeah, you guys, right on. Yeah, we'll be back on the week. Uh, right now I'm going to leave you with S&E Dentors. Just can't have it. Here on WTNC.org. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much. You, you are awesome, man.